What's good, man? It's Western Groove back with another video. So today I'm going to talk about that Errol Spence Jr. versus Lamont Peterson fight coming up January 20th. I think it's up in New York. We 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 gonna we gonna get to it, man. You know how we do the breakdowns here. We are gonna go through the list: age, power, speed, footwork slash foot speed, stamina, ring IQ, heart, chin experience, X factor. Then I'm gonna make my final prediction. You know, because as we go through the list, you know, I'm gonna make this one kind of quick. But as we go through the list, and it's not always. If you go back and look at my uh, breakdown and predictions of fights. Whoever wins the list, it doesn't always end up being who I pick for the fight. But nonetheless, let's get into it. Age, we got Lamont Peterson. He's 33. He's going he's gonna to be almost 34 on the day of the fight. The fight is on the 20th. Lamont Peterson was born on the 24th. Then we got Errol Spence, who's 27, and he will be 28 by the time the fight comes around. He was born on the 13th. And the fight's on the 20th. And both of them was born in January. <coughs> so that's that. Next, power. Obvious power advantage for Errol Spence Jr. Don't really need to get into that. Speed, footwork, foot speed, stamina. So these those things I just named. I'm giving all of those to Lamont Peterson. I think Errol has him. He's, he's the younger buck. He has more power than Lamont Peterson, you know. Speed, footwork, foot speed, and stamina. This nigga Lamont Peterson be standing up in the corner in between rounds. Like his stamina, he ain't he ain't about to get tired. You know, most likely he could, you know, cause Spence do got a different kind of style, but you know, we'll see. Ring IQ. Now I'm gonna have to give Ring IQ to Lamont Peterson slightly just because only only because Lamont Peterson has a deeper resume. So we've seen Lamont Peterson in there where like he had to switch things up or, you know, going in there hard. So we've seen that he's been able to uh, to to think and be smart and, and think about what he's doing in the ring at times. And and I think that Errol Spence actually does have a, a good level of ring IQ. We just haven't seen it fully yet. And maybe maybe this is the fight that uh, Spence uses to showcase it. Hart, Lamont Peterson, again, beats out Spence for Hart. You know, we it's just that I'm not going to say we haven't seen Spence show hard because we saw Spence show hard in the Kell Brook fight. But we, Lamont Peterson's got a track record for it. So when you just put him head to head and just say hard, you got to go Lamont Peterson. Chin, I'm going to give Chin, I'm going to give, I'm going to give Chin to Arrow. You know, uh, I said what, Lamont came up from like what, 135 or 140, you know, to get up to 147. And what what is I think Spence used to fight at what was one fifty something in the amateurs something like that you know Spence gonna have to move up I think he has a better chin just a little bit more uh, sturdy solid build you know but you know don't sleep on Lamont though uh, accumulation of punches over a course of a fight can get anybody so now we're gonna move on to experience hey Lamont Peterson you know Arrow Spence. His last few fights, he got Kel Brook, which, you know, was an amazing fight. Leonard Bundu, Chris Algieri. And then once you get below Chris Algieri, it starts being names like Alejandro Barretta, uh, Chris Van Harden, Phil Greco, Samuel Vargas, which if you haven't, if you're an Errol Spence fan and you haven't went back and watched those fights, you should. You know, but then for Lamont Peterson, you know, he, uh, he got Felix Diaz, uh, Danny Garcia, uh, Derry Jean, Lucas Matisse, Kendall Hole, Amir Khan, Victor Ortiz, T uh, Tim Bradley, like, you know, he, he, got, he got him a little resume on him, you know what I mean? So, I, I gotta give him the experience. He got the experience. X Factor in the fight. I think in this fight, I'm giving the X Factor to Arrow. Now this is hard. This was hard for me to to decide because to a point Lamont has an X factor too cuz Lamont's been cuz cuz truth be told I mean like when you I guess if you just put it just like 
textbook skill for skill. You can call Kell Brook the best welterweight, et cetera, you know. But like, like if you ask me honestly, I think Lamont Peterson could be could have be could have beat Kell Brook. I think that uh, Danny Garcia could have really could have beat Kell Brook possibly. I think Thurman could have beat him. I think Spence could have beat him. Everyone had Kell Brook as the number one welterweight, and I didn't always quite see it that way, you know. But you know, it is what it is. So I almost gave Lamont the X factor because I think that he like like I hear people saying, you know, he's good, this, that, and the other, but I still think they're sleeping on him. I still think that people are sleeping on what it is that Lamont Peterson is capable of doing in the ring, how he is capable of adjusting in his ring IQ in the ring. You know, so but with that being said, I still give it to Spence because Spence has to he just he, he's going he should have that X factor in this fight. He should have that factor about him where it's just. He should almost be looking at this like a tune up, like I need to come in here. I need to mop the floor with this guy who everyone thinks is pretty good and just just molly whop his shit. You feel me? Just real talk. Just go. Just go dumb on him. And 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 just leave nothing with no you know just leave the fight where no one can say nothing. Stop him, stop him. You been getting stops in your last fights, you know. You been stopping, you know. How many TKOs, or KOs? Man, you gotta go. You gotta go to 2014, the last time Spence fought, and they didn't stop the fight. So he he want to get that same result. But my final prediction for the fight, really, oh man, you know I love I love both of these fighters, but for my final pick, I'm gonna go with Errol Spence. But I'm not just gonna pick; I'm gonna tell you exactly how I see the fight going. First round, they're gonna fill each other out. Second round, Spence is going to start putting on more pressure. Lamont Peterson is a really good inside fighter, and they're going to go at it. I think, I think, I could be wrong. I think this is going to be a really good start to the year. I think this is going to be a good fight. I think Lamont Peterson, I think what could end up happening in this fight, I think Spence is going to win. I think that Spence is going to most likely stop Lamont Peterson. I think that. Throughout the fight, people, as they're watching, are going to be like, damn, like we're seeing Spence get hit. I think this is going to be the fight where we've never seen Spence get hit like that. You know, this is going to be that fight. We're going to see Spence getting hit with shit where we're like, whoa, you know, just because if you really think about it, everyone's really big on Spence. We're all big on Spence, but... He fought Kell Brook last, and that was really his the only person he fought of note. Like, like not just name, but like skill. You know, Leonard Bundu, Chris Algieri, Alejandro Breda, Chris Van Heerden, Phil Greco, Samuel Vargas, Francisco Javier Castro. Like, you know, he, he can't go anywhere besides Kell Brook and see him really. You know, and Lamont Peterson has a different style than Kell Brook. Lamont Peterson isn't going to be on his back foot, <clears throat> popping the jab out, trying to just jab, jab, then hold Peter, uh, Spence when he gets in. Lamont P when Spence runs up on, on uh, Lamont Peterson, Lamont Peterson will get into a shell and he will start attacking. He'll start throwing punches. And we're going to see Spence get hit with punches that we've never seen him get hit with. And I think, and I think it's going to be, uh, off-putting for a lot of people you're gonna see a lot of people who jumped the gun and called Spence just like oh he's this god and this this that and the other once they see him start to get hit and he's gonna start to look a little bit more human it's gonna a lot of those people are gonna abandon ship especially when it comes to the Thurman fight you know when it comes to the Thurman fight a lot of people are gonna see they're gonna look at this fight and say you know, Lamont Peterson, he's not as skilled as Thurman. He doesn't hit as hard as Thurman. And he was low-key rocking Errol Spence in certain moments in this fight. So what would happen if that was Thurman? But I believe that at the end of the day, 
after like a real tough, hard fought every round, you know, just is gonna be hard fought, like really good fight, like for for as hardcore boxing fans and for the casuals. I think that once we get down to about the ninth round, we're gonna see just a complete arrow takeover. And I think that somewhere between the ninth and eleventh round, we will see Errol Spence Jr. just put it on Lamont a little bit too much, and Lamont's gonna stop swinging back as much because he he'll, he'll be getting hurt, and and uh, Spence will be able to continue fighting without showing the same wear over the course of the fight as Lamont Peterson because Lamont Peterson doesn't have the same firepower that Spence has. So I think that uh, he'll get stopped, but he'll he'll put on a good showing. And like I said, Lamont will be the one to show the world, like 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 this is what this is what Spence is. I think this is Spence's hardest fight. Now I could be completely wrong, but I think this will prove to be Spence's hardest fight. I think that he will get hit in this fight a lot a lot in every round. I think that he's going to get hit. I think that Lamont Peterson is being slept on. Even though I'm not I'm not saying I'm not going for him. I'm not going for either one of these guys. These are both American fighters. I just want to see a good fight. But if I had to put my money on it and and call the fight how I think it would happen, that's how it would happen. But I do believe that that following night, the next day, the fight's going to happen on a Saturday. That Sunday when all the boxing YouTube people have their videos and they're talking about the fights, there's going to be a lot of people, whether it's warranted or not, talking about, whoa, Spence is going to lose the Thurman because look at how Lamont Peterson was putting hands on that boy in certain rounds. And imagine if that was Keith at one time Thurman and his punching power, his athleticism, his explosiveness, his decision making with his punch selection in the ring and not Lamont Peterson. And people are going to start to turn it back on Arrow Spence. It's Western Groove and I'm out. I'll Oh